Hey guys, this week we're gonna take you through our 55 gallon rain catchment barrel attached to an automatic chicken watering system. We've had a couple good rains over the last few days, so I'm excited that our water is actually almost all the way filled up. So I'll be able to demonstrate exactly how it works along with our exit valve for releasing any of the extra water that we need to get uh, out of the rain barrel if we ever need to clean it and or do some upkeep and maintenance on the system. So the first thing to show you is our gutter system that we attach to the carport. It's two 10 foot pieces of gutter. We added some leaf guards up at the top so that we wouldn't get any debris in there. Down here we have the downspout with the three inch PVC pipe that comes down into the rain barrel. We made it so that we can actually take the pipe off if we needed to get in there, add some ACV or uh, anything that we need to kind of sterilize the water, clean it out. And then we actually have the barrel itself sitting on a stand which you can see in the video from last week. We uh, constructed that out of two by six boards and it's sitting about 16 inches off the ground uh, in addition to the actual platform itself. So the watering system itself is not anything very intricate. Um, I actually got the inspiration for the design from Homesteadonomics. You can check out his channel and the video where he actually takes you on the tour of his system. Uh, his is a little bit different. Uh, I use PVC instead of the irrigation tubing. Um, no other reason for that other than I had half inch PVC laying around. Um, I had to pick up some extras just to kind of make it uh, work and extend into the other areas of the carport. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory. We have a bulkhead that is connected to the 55 gallon drum barrel. That has uh, an extender right here that was threaded. Then we have the half inch PVC pipe. We have a T right here, and that T actually extends into the carport. And we'll show you why we have that here in just a second. And then we have another T uh, connected by two half, uh, half inch uh, PVC pipes. Um, and then that comes down into the shutoff valve. And the reason why you wanna have that shutoff valve is if I wanna clean it out, and which is right here. Uh, the clean out actually goes around and behind me, but I can actually stop the flow of water to the chicken watering system, which is outdoors and indoors. So we can turn that back on. I got one of these handles because it's just visually easier to see that when it is in line with the pipe, I can see that it's on. Here, I know that it's off. So the next part of the system is the clean out valve. Originally when we had this constructed, it was just a valve right here with a pull-off cap. Um, then we thought that through a little bit more and we noticed that that's going to go straight into the chicken run. So that's going to create a lot of erosion and I really didn't want that to happen. So I created an elbow here and attached some additional PVC with an elbow down here. And that actually extends out behind me and then I can actually uh, release the water from there. We're going to head into the chicken run now where you'll be able to see the outdoor watering system and the indoor watering system. Here we have the outdoor watering station, which is nothing fancy again. We just have the pipe coming in through the chicken run and then we have another elbow and a T that make it go into the coop and then the elbow makes it come up and then we have a T right here, which extends out to the different pipes. Now you saw in our last video that we chose to use these uh, watering nipples uh, on the outside because they have a tendency to leak and currently they are leaking pretty bad and I'm not too happy with that. Um, so I got to figure out a way to either seal them or we're just going to remove the outdoor uh, system for now. Um, but taking our cue from Homesteadonomics, we also put a little cover on the, on the station right here. Some of the cutoff from the lookouts for the guttering system. 
and also some extra OSB that we had laying around. So that gives them a nice little shelter for the water. Um, nothing gets into the system uh, from outdoors. And uh, they have a little privacy, a little cover while they're getting a quick sip of water. Out here we also have the five gallon drinking fountain that we got over at Tractor Supply. It's a great asset to have uh, for watering. Fills up and stays filled up for about two or three days so we don't have to actually uh, refill it quite often. But now that we have the outdoor system and the indoor system, it's just another means for the chickens to get their water. You can see that we have it placed here on a pallet. And the reason why we did that is so the chickens have to climb up on top of the pallet, hop up on there, and all the dirt, all the straw gets uh, off their feet when they jump on top of the pallet. And so we keep the inside of the water fountain fairly clean. We're gonna head inside the coop now, or the chicken mansion. We have just shy of 50 birds and they fit all nice and neat inside of here. Um, but the indoor watering station has the drinking cups that we pointed out in the last video. There's four of those and that comes through the uh, outside. And now they've got a nice little watering station inside the coop for those rainy days. And it itself, you know, creates less waste. And you can see here, the water just stays contained in here. And all the chicken has to do is push down on the little yellow deal and water comes out. So like the outside, we also put a little cover on it to keep uh, any dirt or chicken poop from getting in the water. You can see that there's just a little bit on there. The last part of the automatic chicken watering system is the ability to ferment our food within the carport that we made into our chicken staging area. So right here, we actually added the half inch pipe into the carport and we have a little nozzle on there that we can actually now get water into the uh, chicken station. Well guys, that is our outdoor and our indoor automatic chicken watering system. Again, it was inspired by Homesteadonomics. You can check out that video right here and check out his channel. He's got a lot of great DIY projects. I'm really enjoying watching those as well. If you guys have any questions, comments, any suggestions for the leaky uh, watering nipples out on the outside, please leave us a comment down below. We'd love to see those thumbs up. It encourages us to keep on going and keep on making these videos. And if you so happen to be inclined, we wouldn't mind if you uh, hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, this is uh, Remote Tactical signing off from the Barefoot Acres.